Kitco Mining special coverage of Fast Markets Lithium Supply and Battery Raw Materials is brought to you by Lindian Resources. Rares have gone from esoteric to mainstream due to energy transition. Lindian Resources is advancing its Kagunde project in Malawi. Alistair Stevens is CEO. Alistair, welcome to Kitco. Thank you very much, Michael. What is Lindian? Lindian is a resource company with assets in Africa. We have bauxite in Guinea, but we have a stunning rare earth project in Malawi called Kangankundi, which we mm. nicknamed the Kick. <laughs> Tell us about it. You have a resource coming up. We do. Uh, last October, we committed to a very large drilling program. We've committed about 14,500 metres so far for a resource development um, uh, drilling campaign. That resource statement is due very soon, uh, within the next month. Now, I understand the mineralization is a little bit different. This is like an old volcano, right? Yes. Think of it like a, a marble bench. It's white with black stripes through it. It's mm -hmm. a volcanic marble-looking type commodity, uh, rock type, Thank you. hosting this monazite mineralization. Pete, talk about the advantages of that mineralization. And so, One of the unique features of this mineralization, the monazite is a completely different mineral to the carbonate minerals, the limestone-type marble minerals. So there's a very different differentiation on density, which allows us to do gravity separation to extract that monazite out very simply. Oh. Secondly, it's non-radioactive, which is extremely unusual for a monazite mineral. Because that can be kind of a stumbling block for uh, rare earth projects in terms of what the processing list bring. Indeed, it yeah. comes a, a number of issues, which is uh, local site man management of radiation issues. It comes mm -hmm. down to the transportation of concentrates, which are then elevated in radiation. But then the radiation disposal um, facilities, when you get downstream pro um, processing, mm -hmm. become more complicated. But what's it like working in Malawi? Malawi is a fantastic place to work. We've had mm -hmm. great um, cooperation by the government and the local people, local councils. It's been a delight to be there. Yeah. And the local community itself, what's around uh, the project? There's a town to the north called Balaka, which has yeah. 36,000 people where the local council is. Um, and then we have a local um, community uh, who are under two chiefs, one Chief Chan Chantunya, the other one Chief uh, Kangan, uh, Chief Makalela of mm -hmm. the Kangankundi district. We've got very good relationships with both those of communities. Also important uh, with the uh, servicing uh, energy transition, electric vehicles is uh, low emissions, uh, being able to have a low carbon footprint. Tell us about some plans around that, uh, some advantages with the project. Well, first advantage is that uh, we're not going to be using chemicals in our, our recovery technique to get the monazite material. So it initially always puts us in a very low environmental footprint. Uh, ultimately, there, uh, Malawi has a large hydroelectric power uh, transition system uh, transmission system and we're getting access to that which means we'll have a very low carbon footprint from there and then leads you to say well why do we have an um, electric mining fleet and electrical light and vehicle fleet and really strive for a net zero carbon footprint. Alistair how did you come uh, to uh, Lindem? Uh, well I've been working in Malawi a number of years on another project but before that I was with uh, Arafura in the rare earth space yeah. uh, and Kangan Kundi was always a project that I thought was probably going to be a global leader mm -hmm. in this space and when uh, I heard that uh, uh, Mr Asimwe uh, Kabunga had um, uh, done a deal to buy the project off the owners mm -hmm. um, it was one of those projects that I thought I just had to be part of because it's, it's such a fascinating project. Alistair, uh, last decade, uh, rare earths had a nice run up. Uh, it kind of came off the boil, but uh, recently we've seen really rare earths have come to the uh, fore. Um, and it, tell us what the outlook is for rare earths. I think the outlook's very good. Mm -hmm. This new energy, clean energy transition not only needs uh, materials for energy manufacture and storage, but it also needs the met metals like rare earths yeah. that produce the electric motors that then transition that uh, or transfer that energy from storage into motion. So we see rare earths being a fundamental part of the electric vehicle space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the biggest market that's going to impact rare earth demand by a long way. What's the next steps or in the next 12 months at Lydian? Well, very shortly we'll be announcing our maiden resource statement for Kangan Kundi. We've done two very deep holes underneath that resource statement to uh, tell us what the tenor and the geometry of the mineralisation under that mineralisation is. Yes. The further metallurgical test work results. Uh, towards the end of the year there'll be another drilling campaign we'll update our resource statement to an in inferred statement, uh, sorry, from an inferred to an indicated statement later this year. But also we've been making some announcements on the development of our construction um, and funding of our 
at our first stage processing plant, which will go into construction next year. Alistair, thanks for speaking with Ted Cut. Thank you very much. My name is Michael Lecrae here at Fast Markets 15 Lithium Supply and Raw Battery Materials Show in Anderson, Nevada. Kitco Mining special coverage of Fast Markets Lithium Supply and Battery Raw Materials is brought to you by Lindian Resources. <laughs>